The leaves are changing colors and Halloween is just around the corner, which means it's pumpkin time. Chef Jason Smith and judge of Best Baker in America shows us how to whip up his pumpkin roll bars. Well, Lord, honey, let me tell you, I've been doing all kinds of stuff. As you can see, we have our new fall apparel line out. And this is the pumpkin spice shirt. And there's all other kinds of uh, apparel lines that we have with the fall. We've got all kinds of shirts, a sweatshirt that's really cool. It's like a fall uh, tie-dye. It's really cool. Uh, and then we have some exciting news coming out in the next couple weeks. We're thinking, well, we're not thinking, honey. We know that there's a country bling candle line coming out. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Girl. Maybe, maybe We've been a little, working a lot. Maybe a little pumpkin candles for us? Well, it could be pumpkin. I do think that the first one is brown sugar, bourbon, and bacon. So, Ooh, I like that. I love candles that smell like food. That'll be, that'll be fantastic. I can't wait for that. And so today you're going to be making pumpkin bars for us. It's that time of year, pumpkin spice, pumpkin everything. So what do you love about these pumpkin bars? You know what I love about these pumpkin bars is my favorite thing in the fall is pumpkin rolls. And it takes a lot to make a pumpkin roll because you've got to make the cake and roll it up and then put the filling in it and roll it back up. But this is a pumpkin roll in a bar form. And that way you don't have to worry about rolling it up and doing all that stuff. So it's super easy. There's not a lot of ingredients. And honey, I'm telling you what, it smells so good while it's baking. Honey, it'll make even the rooster staying at the back door want some. It's so good. So let's get, and Jennifer, honey, I know you could even do this recipe. So okay, I can't you, wait for you to try it. So. You know it's easy if you're saying I can do it. <laughs> That's right. It is super easy. So let me get into it. We'll show you how it's made. Now, you can get this recipe on my website at southerncountrybling.com and all your fall, fall apparel as well. So in my bowl here, I've just got some sugar. And then we're going to add some butter. And then we're going to add two hen fruits, as Granny called it, which that's eggs. So we have some eggs. We have the pumpkin pie spice. Listen, it's a dump, honey. You just dump it all in there, a little water. And then we've got some vanilla. And then we're going to add just one whole can of pumpkin because now when you're looking for pumpkin in the store for this, make sure it says pure pumpkin and not pumpkin pie spice, or pumpkin pie filling because pumpkin pie filling is different than just regular pumpkin. And you want just regular pumpkin up in here. And then you're just going to stir all that till it comes together. And listen, you won't be able to stand still long enough when you're mixing this up because we all love that pumpkin spice, you know, that's used and everything. Listen, I think they even make it in cologne now, honey. You can get like a spray behind your ears and you can get you some pumpkin spice cologne. And everybody thinks, oh, well, here comes pumpkin head because I can smell it coming down the road. So once you get that mixed up, then you just add uh, some flour. And this is self rising flour because ain't no sense of measuring out all that soda and salt and baking powder and all that. Honey, why not use the self rising because they already got all that up in there for you. You know, I like to do recipes, Jennifer, that's easy for people to uh, put together. It doesn't take a lot of ingredients because we're starting to get into the holiday season and we got to bake a lot for our neighbors and our friends and family. And so you want something that's real easy and you could make 10 or 12 of these and freeze them if you want to. You know, right now in October, while you're not busy uh, with Thanksgiving and Christmas, is go ahead and make these up and freeze them. And then you've got stuff that you can give to people for the, the holidays or take them to the parties or whatever you want to do. And they freeze wonderful. You can cut them out in squares and freeze them if you want to, uh, just however you want to do that. So now, let's see, we've got to do the filling. So, you know, pumpkin roll has that beautiful cream cheese filling, right? Yes. That we all love. And this is just cream cheese that's softened, honey, just laid out the night before. It ain't going to hurt nothing. We have an egg and some vanilla and a little bit of sugar. And you can use brown sugar in the filling if you want. I use the white sugar, uh, but you can most definitely use brown sugar because you know that brown sugar's got some of that lasses up in it, as we used to call it, which for those that don't know what lasses is, that's molasses. So, uh, and you just mix all of that together until it comes together. And don't worry if you've got some chunks of uh, cream cheese up in there because 
that just makes it even better. You don't want that filling to be super smooth. It's going to be a little bit chunky, and that's what you're looking for. So don't beat it until it's smooth because it won't work. All right, so you take half of this batter and put it in your pan. Now, you could divide this like into a loaf pan if you wanted to, and you could make loaves out of it. I just do it in a, a nine by nine or an eight by eight, and I do it in a glass pan because I like to see it when it's cut. But you could also do this in those glass pans, and you, this would be a whole gift, and you give people, you know, then they get a pan after they get done eating their pumpkin bar. So, and you just spread that filling right out there on that pumpkin uh, batter, the first one. Set him over there. Just spread it right out on there, real good and even. Good and even like Stephen, as I say. And then you take the rest of the batter and you dollop it on top. And you put dollops, you want to put about four big dollops right here on top. And you all make sure you get you some of my uh, country bling apparel because you need the pumpkin spice shirt while you're making this pumpkin, you know, because that's the best part of it. And then you want to swirl it around, honey. Just get in there and swirl it around. This is October, so act like a, you're a witch put against some kind of brew or something, you know, and just swirl that baby around and just make it all nice and pretty and even on top. And then you just stick her in the oven, honey, at 350 and bake it about 35 minutes. And it comes out. Honey, look here. When that comes out and you cut it, look at that swirl. In oh, there. I love that. See that? And it makes that swirl just like a pumpkin roll. And honey, listen, she's so, listen, this is warm, honey. I just took it right out of the oven. It's just warm. You could put you a little caramel on top if you want to. Oh, Lord, I'm telling you, I got to get this where you can see it. So look at that. You get that beautiful pumpkin swirl up that See, I can even see this thing. Mm. Mm. That is the best way to make a pumpkin roll honey in a bar. See, it was super easy, and honey, everybody's going to want this recipe. I can tell you, because it is good. It's really good. You can get that recipe for Jason Smith's pumpkin roll bars. Just go to lex18.com slash best of the bluegrass after the show.